doing such a great job. They had just, you know, just a totally great uh, commitment to the effort. Uh, everybody rolled up their sleeves and, you know, it, probably in about three months, we would have normally taken about six to eight months, uh, just got it done. And uh, so uh, I just wanted to acknowledge a few people that uh, uh, auto, auto construction, for one, auto construction, I think they have a niche in terms of fast track delivery great customer service, and the ability to deliver a great product. So the auto folks are standing over there, and Allison, and uh, John, and uh, Carl, and uh, Robin. I mean, there's, there's a lot of big team out there. I can't, I can't name everybody, but uh, they're just awesome folks. And uh, BPCS, who was the uh, construction manager and the, and the uh, Inspector, I'm, I'm not sure where they are, but anyway, they, they deserve to be recognized. Chancellor's office staff are here, uh, campus staff are all here, so it was just a, a total team effort. And, uh, and so just on the way out, as a personal note, I'd just like to say, because I've been in the system 30 years, and uh, so I'm transitioning out very soon. I've spent 10 years managing construction projects on this campus, going all the way back from Sim Center to PE, and I just want to thank uh, President Cropper and Franz Lozano and, and his team and his staff for just uh, the opportunity to serve and to be a part of the great things that are happening here on campus. And so thank you all and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Now I would like to introduce you to Cal Maritime's 14th President, Tom Cropper. Okay. <clears throat> what time is it? Air time! Okay, see, that's for our guests. Now you can join in. What time is it? Air time! It sure is. So uh, I'd like to, to start by stopping and thank Jay Jefferson again. I want to thank him for his leadership, his insight, tenacity. When you think about it, Jay, you've served 460,000 students in the California State University for 30 years, and it's fitting that this would sort of be the capstone project of such positive impact. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh, I did it with my teammates, Vice San Juan and Jim Hoffman and Ebby and Megan Smith. And very true, your team did demonstrate some really tireless commitment to our campus. And they showed it every hour, but they needed a strong player. Every team needs a strong player, and they had it in you. So thank you, Jay. You created opportunities for generations of Cal Maritime cadets who follow. Congratulations. And they only gave me two minutes, but sometimes it's good to be the president. <laughs> I also want to welcome some guests, and I'm pleased that so many of you joined us on this very cool and beautiful Vallejo morning. The first folks are probably very important, and the most important uh, sometimes to me, and that's our faculty and staff, so raise your hands because there's a lot of you here. You know, they're the heart and soul, the goodness of what makes Cal Maritime successful. And uh, I just would point out within the last 10 days, we had two magazines, Money Magazine and Forbes Magazine, recognize their work uh, in providing a, an immensely important public good, uh, higher education. So thank you, faculty. Thank you, staff. Thank you to your families. How does it feel to be recognized in the top 5% of all American universities? We also have alum who uh, who've, uh, represent their classmates, generations of graduates who didn't get to live like this. Uh, but they went into leadership positions in the number six economy in the world. Uh, Eric Cooper, where are you, Eric? Justin Yek, are you here? Just raise your hand so we can say hello. Uh, Daryl Anderson, also uh, with Kathy, a uh, proud parent of a current cadet. Bill Andrew from our uh, Cal Maritime Foundation, class of 78. Uh, Richard Abrams uh, with uh, Clara and Gail Michael, he's from the class of 66. 
Uh, he's joined by his classmate, uh, Bill uh, Keyworth and Mary Lou, also class of 66. And then the winner today, Maynard Wilms and Helen, class of 61. So thanks for coming back to your alma mater and, and celebrating an important milestone for us. Yeah, to our caring neighbors, and there are many of you, thank you, welcome, thank you for helping us to make Vallejo stronger and making Vallejo nicer. I know Manny Angel's out there somewhere, one of our leadership Vallejo grads, Jackie Arnold, uh, ch chair-elect of the chamber and also of Seroptimus, Tom Barti of the Vallejo Education and Business Alliance Foundation, also representing Senator Bill Dodd, good morning. Monica Brown, our Solano <laughs> County Supervisor, glad you're here. James Cooper, who uh, comes to us from the chamber. Uh, who else we have? Paula Culbertson, Diana Dowling, Tom Edwards, chair of, of our uh, Cal Maritime Foundation and namesake of the Edwards Leadership Development Program. The whole, I think the whole Evans family, we'll see. Uh, Kay Flavel, uh, Shauna Gilroy, Carol Harris, also a Biba, and representing Kaiser Permanente, Solano County Supervisor and good friend uh, Aaron Hannigan, uh, Vice Mayor David Wiesner, Jana Medina, representing uh, our Assembly Member Tim Grayson. This is going to go on isn't it, for a while, isn't it? There's a lot of people who like us. Uh, Mel Arpia here, representing Congressman Mike uh, Thompson. Come on, round of applause for all of us. Rick Pastorchik, Margaret Robbins, the Swinney brothers, welcome. <laughs> Councilmember uh, Hermie Sunga, also uh, representative of Council and Diva and Annette Taylor. So plenty more, but those are the people who signed up. <laughs> so we are proud partners uh, like you in making a better university and making it a better maritime academy. So thank you to our, our partners in the city. And there are some other partners, you've heard their names already, but you know they've been the brains and the muscle that has made this dream into a reality, and those are our contractor partners. So Auto Construction, general contractor responsible for construction, renovation, and as you can see, uh, I think I'll use your words, Jay, they know how to get her done, <laughs> and, and done right. So welcome to Carl Barrett, uh, Allison, Otto, and Carol, and Robert Usher and your team, Thank you, you work wonders. And I look uh, forward to hearing about a little bit about this from Robert shortly. ATI Architects, real pros. They've been responsible for the design work that uh, Otto carried out, so welcome to Paul DiDonato and Rachel Hamilton, the principal architect. And look what you have brought. Thank you. Vent Health Construction Services, project matters for this incredible project Hit the starting line in April. Hit the finish line in August. Welcome to Mike Van Pelt and Ryan Leahy. And you've demonstrated what expertise really looks like, so thank you. In the COM1 communications, you know, often the communications folks are the hidden, quiet people, but let my Wi-Fi go down, and they are the most valuable and visible. And that team brought in brand new IT uh, cable and fiber for network access. That's not really a nice to have anymore. It's a fundamental requirement for 21st century learning. And they overcame several challenges, a few fastballs and a lot of curveballs. And uh, they delivered what we wanted and we needed. So thank you also to COM1. Beyond that, it takes a community. It takes a community of faculty and staff and our cadets and alumni and parents and community leaders and public organizations to create the conditions for progress. And it takes leaders like Provost Sue Opp and Vice President Bob Arp and Vice President Stan Abair and Assistant Vice President Ingrid Williams to take the aspirations and make them happen. And they, like me, were led along this path and this effort by two phenomenal campus leaders. Vice President Franz Lozano, and Assistant Vice President Mark Goodrich. Thank you. Now, Franz and Mark don't seek the limelight. 
but they do seek the impacts. So Mark and Franz, you and your cabinet colleagues and this incredible assembly of people from our community, the ones we call community, created impacts for several generations of Cal Maritime cadets. Maybe first and foremost in a cadet's mind, you've sustained the affordability of attendance at this academy, knowing the resurgence in rental costs in Vallejo that have already outpriced most of our cadets. You've insisted on quality first, an imperative shared and delivered by the contractor partners. You've beautified our neighborhood. You've made them safer. And you've made Vallejo a nicer place to visit, to live, and enjoy. And you did it in less than six months, which is amazing, and I can't wait to see what's next. So thank you both. This awesome display of power, the power of community, on Cal Maritime's newest residence hall, which we call Maritime North, is the first in many steps. Many steps in two decades of campus infrastructure improvement. The California State University Board of Trustees approved, one month ago, a multi-year campus master plan that essentially renovates, rejuvenates, replaces, and creates instructional spaces on our campus for an enrollment approximately 60% above our current numbers. We're gonna be here a while. This will of course include funding for faculty and new, new faculty and new staff who continue to deliver superb student success, the same success we enjoy today. So Maritime North is a great, great first step, a great step it is. Thank you for your attendance today. Thank you for your authentic support to the Academy and to Heather and Tom. Thank you very much. Um, so that's what I communicated. Sunglasses off. Uh, faculty, staff, cadets, and special guests. Please join me in welcoming
President Tom Cropper to speak here at the 75th celebration of 75 years in Vallejo. Well, it is a great morning. Uh, before I do uh, give you some prepared remarks, we have some really great friends from Vallejo City behind me, and they had a hard time with the question that I asked them this morning, so I need your help. Uh, what time is it? Mary time! Okay, so, so now that they have their, their earplugs in, one more time, really, like 110 decibels. What time is it? Mary time! I think you know the answer now. <laughs> Well, welcome. Uh, these are uh, caring neighbors who've joined us, and many of them. And I want to welcome our neighbors. I know I'm standing with my back to you right now, but thank you. Uh, thank you for helping us to make Vallejo uh, stronger and nicer. I want to recognize Jackie Arnold, who's the chair-elect of the chamber, Tom Barty of the Vallejo Education and Business Alliance, also representing Senator Bill Dodd, uh, Monica Brown, our Solano County Supervisor, and James Cooper, from the uh, Vallejo Chamber of Commerce, Carol Harris from Kaiser Permanente, Aaron Hannigan, also Solano County Supervisor, Katie Meisner, who's the Vice Mayor of Vallejo, uh, Jana Medina, uh, representing Assemblymember Tim Grayson, uh, Greg Nyhoff, who is our City Manager, who has brought his wife along, Cindy Melopia, representing Congressman Mike Thompson and Hermie Sunga, the Vallejo City Council Member. Pretty excited folks. They should be, because this week, in fact, tomorrow, marks our 75th year in Vallejo. In 1943, we were but 14 years old, and we just left three years residence at the San Francisco Ferry Building, teaching classes for a trainship. That decision has shaped our destiny and Vallejo's destiny ever since. And why? Because it takes a community of faculty and staff and cadets and alumni and parents, people in the community, leaders in the community, public servants, business partners, community organizations to create conditions for progress. We started our convocation just 10 days ago recognizing Vallejo an essential partner and beneficiary of the fantastic work that occurs on this beautiful campus every day and has for, 50, for 75 years. The city of Vallejo places enormous trust in you, the core, and in us, the staff and faculty. They know they have a willing and capable university shipping. They know they have a special university, a Maritime Academy, endeavoring to change lives and lift souls one at a time. We are making Maritime better and making Vallejo better day by day, hour by hour. The leadership of Vallejo knows it, the citizens know it. Our focused, your focused, persistent engagement with the city does create positive impact. We share a common maritime heritage. We're a Purple Heart University. We share a desire for a better community, fueled in part by 10,000 hours of cadet volunteer service to Vallejo. We share a vision for a great community, one that is in the making as I speak, and one which you will join in delivering. That is why we're honoring 75 years of Vallejo. Not for the past, but for the future. A great future that stands before us. Thank you. Thank you, President Crawford. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Mayor of Vallejo, the Honorable Bob Sampayan, who will make a special presentation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Somebody please pass me the... No, it's the one, that one. No, no. Yep. That one. There we go. There we go, the second one. Thank you. Right. Thank you so very much. 
it's truly an honor to stand before you this morning, and I apologize for backing a portion of the folks behind. This event marks something very significant for this university. As I look out on the audience, I see faces that are our future. And I thank you all for what you want to do for not only yourselves, but for our country. Many of you are going to either enter military service or the maritime industry and becoming a huge part of where our country is going to go. And I thank this university for what they're doing in bringing about that change. So with that, oh, one of the things I do want to say is that I'm very impressed with the fact that all of you donate and volunteer within the city of Vallejo. 10,000 hours is absolutely amazing. And I would like all of our folks behind me to please applaud all of you for doing that. That is absolutely amazing. I thank you for it. So the resolution that I had obviously is the wrong one. I have the tan framed one there. There we go. That's the right one. Okay, that looks like my screw one. Very good. So this proclamation was authored by me uh, a while back. In fact, it was back in July before the council went dark for the month of, uh, of August. So I read this at, at city council, and it says, recognizing California State University Maritime Academy 75th anniversary in the city of Vallejo. Whereas the California State University Maritime Academy, Cal Maritime, founded as a state agency known as the California Nautical School in 1929, is the only United States Maritime Academy on the West Coast, and whereas the city of Vallejo became the permanent home for the academy in 1943, as it continued to evolve and flourish in the ensuing decades, becoming a four-year university and part of the California State University system, and whereas the Cal Maritime's graduates enjoy high placement rates leading to prominent maritime careers at sea and on shore within months of their graduation and whereas Cal Maritime alumni continue to be the highest paid graduates in any public university four year after enrollment as they fill leadership roles within maritime and transportation related fields and are critical to the economies of California, the nation, and the world. And whereas California Maritime is one of the largest employers in Vallejo and contributes millions of dollars annually to the Vallejo economy through purchase of goods, services, housing, hospitality, and other transactions, and whereas the Cal Maritime Cadets perform over 10,000 hours of community service each year in Vallejo and surrounding communities, joined by faculty and administrators who also serve in civic leadership roles. Therefore, be it proclaimed that I, Bob Sampai, and Mayor, and the Vallejo City Council hereby proclaims August 24, 2018, to be the 75th anniversary of the California Maritime Relocation to Vallejo. Signed by me, Bob Sampai, and Mary, and the Vallejo City Council. Congratulations again, and thank you so much for this honor. Good day. recognizing August 24th as the 75th anniversary of the Cal Maritime in Solano County. Whereas California State Maritime Academy was founded as a state agency known as the California Nautical School in 1929, it is the only United States Maritime Academy on the West Coast. And whereas Solano County became the permanent home for the Academy in 1943, as the school continued to grow and flourish, eventually becoming a four university and part of the Cal State University system. And where it's Cal Maritime graduates enjoy high placement rates, leading to prominent maritime careers at sea and on the shore, and many of them living in Solano 
Brown County following graduation and contributing to its vibrant clock economy. And whereas Cal Maritime alumni are the highest paid grads of any public California university four years after enrollment, filling leadership roles within maritime and transportation related fields that are critical to the economies of California, the nation, and the world. And where Cal Maritime contributes millions of dollars to the Solano County economy through purchase of goods, services, hospitality, and other transactions. You can tell all of us love you guys because I think this is basically what you already heard from the mayor, but we love you. And whereas Cal Maritime Academy perform more than 10,000 hours of community service. You help us, we help you, and therefore, the Solano County Board of Supervisors hereby recognizes August 24th, 2018 to be the 75th anniversary of Cal Maritime's relocation to Solano County, dated and signed by John Vasquez on August 14th. And as you look out, because you have the better view, because I just have the eucalyptus trees, that's where you guys are going to be spending your career. And I cannot be more pleased and proud that you are located here in Vallejo. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Supervisor Brown. To make a joint presentation, I would like to introduce Jada Medina, Field Representative for Assemblymember Tim Grayson of District 14, and Tom Barty, District Director for Senator Bill, Todd, Bill Dodd of District 3. Good morning, cadets. Good morning. Good morning. I love that. <laughs> On behalf of Assemblyman Grayson, we would like to thank you all uh, for the participation that you all put into the, the location, the, the district, the area. Uh, this, this summer, I was, uh, our office was pleased to have Cadet Sanchez and Cadet Speeder in our office, and they were amazing. So thank you for all the community service and giving back that you do. Now we have a presentation. Good morning. Um, Senator Dodd uh, expresses his uh, apologies for not being here this morning as we're really close to the end of the session for 2018. And including uh, some of my reasons they're busy in Sacramento. But um, it's an honor to be here this morning, and I'm really impressed to see all of you here uh, standing. Is this standing at attention? Or Is something that close to that? <laughs> at ease. Um, it's fitting that the podium is facing the student body because you are the, are the, are the important element of what happens here at the campus. You are the future, uh, not only of, of this body, but of Vallejo and other parts of California. And you'll, you'll go out throughout the world to probably represent all of us. And that, that's really an important thing for, for us. Um, whenever we have such a momentous occasion like this, we, we would put together a formal uh, state resolution. It's, it's all, all, almost always for this really unique occasions like this, and, and today is such an occasion. And I, I'm not going to read all of it because I'll probably repeat a lot of stuff that's already been said. But it starts as, whereas, the year 2008 marks the 75th anniversary of the founding of California State University Maritime Academy, and the recognition of this significant milestone in the Academy's history. It's appropriate that the institution be extended special public honors and accommodations in recognition of the challenges that it has met on behalf of the people of the state of California since its establishment. And whereas one of the 23 campuses in the California State University system and the only United States Maritime Academy on the West Coast, California State University Maritime Academy was founded as the California Nautical School and it's currently located in the city of Boyle. And as one of seven uh, degree-granting maritime academies in the country, Cal Maritime offers six bachelor degree programs and one master's program. Whereas with the passage of the Merchant Marine Act of 1936, funding for the academy stabilized, in 1939, California Nautical School adopted the name California Maritime Academy. 
During the 70s, California Maritime survived another round of budget cuts and calls for its <clears throat> abolition and became a four-year institution graduating its first minority and female cadets during the decade. And in 1996, Cal Maritime became the 22nd campus of the state uh, university system with this new affiliation considerably improving the academy's funding prospects. And I might add that the legislation that, uh, that carried uh, that special status for the uh, Maritime Academy was uh, introduced by Assembly Member Hannigan, whose uh, daughter Erin is here today. <clears throat> Whereas in September 2015, <clears throat> The campus name change was produced, um, and uh, the, the University Board of Trustees um, called the California Maritime Academy officially State uh, University Maritime Academy, which has earned a position of great respect in Solano County for its support of the community and more than 10,000 volunteer hours contributed to communities throughout the region by cadets, faculty, and administrators. Now, Therefore, be it resolved by Senator Bill Dodd and Assemblymember Tim Grayson that they take great pride in congratulating the California State University Maritime Academy upon the 75th anniversary of its founding and commend the institution for its 75 years of academic excellence and for the extraordinary caliber of service its facility and faculty and students have rendered to the people of Solano County, Vallejo, and the state of California. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Ms. Medina and Mr. Hardy. For our final presentation, I would like to introduce Mel Orvillia, District Representative for Congressman Mike Thompson of the 5th District. Good morning, Jets. Good morning. Good morning. This campus has really come a long way. Uh, I was born and raised in Vallejo, and the only way I could come on campus as a kid, go fishing along the shoreline, was to sneak on. Uh, but today, I was able to come through the front gate, and they even had a parking space with my name on it, so we really have come a long way. Um, but today, I'm uh, representing Congressman Mike Thompson, and he can be here today, but he asked me to read this letter. And it says, Dear Friends, I am sorry I cannot be with you today before passing in another part of our district. Today we celebrate an exciting milestone, 75 years of the California Maritime Academy right here in our home community. For three quarters of a century, the Academy has been an essential piece of our economy, our defense readiness, and our education system, both locally and across our nation. We are so proud of one of Vallejo's best kept secrets. Cal Maritime gives students a bridge to employment with the highest employment rate of any school in the CSU system. What's more, this education is innovative, providing technologically advanced research that solves problems for our state and for our nation. Finally, Cal Maritime is a crucial part of our local community. Attracting students from all over the world, the school adds to our community's diversity and engaging young people from all over in our local issues. Cal Maritime students tutor in our local schools, volunteer in our homeless shelters, support our senior centers, clean up our coastal areas, and offer assistance to fire survivors. In addition, they intern in our office, and they were part of the congressman's whale boat team uh, during the Vallejo Waterfront weekend last October. They are truly an essential part of the fabric of Vallejo. Congratulations on this exciting anniversary, and we look forward to the next 75 years Incredible development at Cal Maritime. Signed Mike Thompson, member of Congress. <coughs>
the shuttles from Lot A to Lot O will be running during the remainder of the celebration. We'll please stand by to give a couple more announcements. Morning, guys. Uh, just a couple things for me, uh, uniform-wise. Uh, there's been some confusion, so uh, as it is right now, freshmen who are required to wear the California State University Maritime Academy covers, not the ones with the TS gold there on them. Um, as well, you must keep your jackets if the PC falls the way up, it's not only the top. They are not allowed to be worn. Tonight, we wanted to we wanted to invite all the students, faculty, and staff to come out to Maritime North. We're having a little celebration, barbecue, rock wall, a beer garden, and a live band. So come on up from five to seven. It's free. <laughs> Attention! Company commanders, take command of your companies. Yeah. 